YouTube, this is Quiz Bones here, and today I'm going to show you how to use VNC Lite. And as you can see, this is the VNC application that you can get in the App Store by typing in VNC and make sure you download Lite. Now, it does depend on the model of your computer, but I will go ahead and see that right now. But I'm pretty sure it does depend on that because there is a Vista or whatever it is in Windows XP but I'll type in VNC and on under VNC Mocha Lite it says connect to a Windows PC or Mac OS X so if you have one of those go ahead and download it click download and then download it to your iPod and what you're gonna do is open up VNC you're gonna click connect with mine, I already have mine set up, so it's going to take me right to my desktop. As you can see, this is on my desktop right here. Let me minimize this. Okay, minimize it. And it is a little delayed, but it does work. And it just minimized on my iPod. So as you can see right here, there's my desktop right there. This is an iPod, in case anybody wanted to know. Okay. So that's it right there. Now you're gonna go on your PC. You're gonna go into go to Google, and you're gonna type in VNC and click search. And if you click that, it should be realvnc.com/slash as the first uh, as the first one on Google. And you're gonna go down to that. Now it should be some categories beneath that, which would be right here and right here. You're gonna click download VNC free edition 4.1. After you click that, you're gonna scroll down and don't don't enter any information. They really don't need it. <coughs> and click proceed to download. And after you do that, you're gonna go to VNC free edition for Windows. If you have Windows, you're gonna click the top download, which would be the executable 724K. Or if you have Linux, you're gonna click the top one and so on so if you click there you're gonna click download you're gonna scroll down to the bottom of this and click I accept these terms and conditions and then click download okay I already have it downloaded to my computer so I'm not gonna re-download it so after you do that then you're gonna keep going and it's gonna show you it's gonna show you a series of screenshots on what to do after it gets up to your computer. Now the screenshots will be common things like clicking next and finish. So after you get on go ahead and start doing that, then it's gonna get to the screenshot where it's gonna show you what to do with this dialog box, which will be coming up in a second. It's going to show you what to do with this dialog box right here. You're going to leave everything the same. So if you're going to click authentication, and you're going to click VNC password authentication, and you're going to click configure, and you're going to type in a password under the VNC password authentication. You're going to click OK after that. Then you're going to click apply. You're not going to fix anything else. You're not going to fix any authentication, connections, input, legacy, capture method, or desktop configuration. You're just going to going to change authentication to a password and then what you're going to do you are going to go to your iPod or iPhone you're going to open up VNC and you're going to click menu edit connections and click the first connection you're going to enter your IP address okay now once you have it downloaded to your computer I'm going to exit out this scroll your mouse over to VNC over the VNC icon in the system tray and it's going to have a box, uh, brown box is going to pop up it's going to have your IP address in it click don't click that T write down the IP address or if you're right next to your iPod or iPhone type the IP address into the settings and that'll be your real IP address so because a lot of places they want more numbers in your IP address like says on the application but that'll be the IP address that you're going to enter now, a lot of people have said that they go to menu and they go to about and it has an, an iPhone IP address in there. 
do not type that in that does not work so you're going to click edit connections and then your connection i'm typing your ip address in the first slot next you're going to leave the server port the same you're going to type in your password type in the name which is optional you're going to cut your mac os x server off save password on 32-bit color mode 32-bit color mode on and mouse with offset you're gonna leave that on okay you're gonna leave that on now what you need to do if you have everything right now if you when you were um, installing it to your computer if you change any settings it's not gonna work do not change nothing but what I told you to change and it should work but sometimes things go wrong and stuff do not load up on your computer so if your computer is a slow computer you might have to wait a second it should work but you're gonna go to start all programs and in all program if you just download it to a PC it should say new programs installed but if it doesn't you go find it wherever it is mine is all the way up here so I click all programs go all the way up here now you click on real VNC you're gonna go over here to this one and you're gonna click VNC server 4 user mode and you're gonna click run VNC server okay now if you click run VNC server another VNC icon should pop up down here my iPod is already looking at my desktop so my second icon has turned black now I can disconnect from it by hitting the home button and then the second icon will turn back at, to the regular VNC colors which is green blue and red so after you do that it should work after that do not change any configurations or settings after that and it should work make sure your IP address is the same and if you want to see if it does work without going to, um, into the connections every time click connect and it should start saying VNC negotiation and then right now it's connected to my PC it is a little delayed but at least it works it's perfect for when you're in your room and people come over your house or whatever and you want to look at them while they're on your computer I open up Safari down here and it's already on my iPod I minimize it on my computer and it's about to minimize on the iPod and there you go that is VNC Mocha Lite one of the best apps to my knowledge in the app store thank you for watching this video and remember go to True Productions we're going places